So how do you do? I'm Gamerson, and this is something we're trying new. I don't have a working name for it yet, so I'm just gonna call it the Fire Godai or Gade uh, podcast. Kind of, a, kind of a thing that we kind of started on the other channel with the Jinx Chaos Theory. This was just gonna be more like a broader variety, kind of a, a general thing, you know? I don't, I don't know. Actually, we're just, we're just kind of. This is kind of the test pilot, and we're just seeing how this is gonna go, and we'll improve from there. But also with us today. We have... That's 45 seconds. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. We, we, we have my sister. Welcome. Uh, Jinx. Yes, with, with an E, though, not with an I. With the E. <laughs> even though it sounds like it's with an A. Like, like Jinx. No, 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 I messed it up. Okay, whatever. You know what? Oh, Point good is... good job. Oh, oh, I, 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 I don't like this already. This was a terrible idea. I love oh, you too. I love you too. Anyways, so with that being said, what we're what we're gonna do in this episode is kind of just talk about just stuff. That's just kind of it, actually. Just, just talk. Ooh, stuff. I like stuff. It's not my favorite word, but it is a nice word. S T U F F stuff. Would you, would you say it's like top five words? Mm, stuff. Stuff. Stuffy, stuffing, stuffer. Oh no, you put on the child <laughs> safety locks. But we are neither children nor safe. Ah, uh, that's funny. Okay, so, okay, you know what, actually, let's, we'll, we'll start there, because uh, otherwise that joke will make no sense. So, recently, and I mean like very, very recently, or I'll start with myself first. I started watching uh, Ruby, as a matter of fact. Uh, I watched the first episode a long time ago. Didn't have the time to watch like the rest of the series. Finally binge watched it when I came back from anime convention that I went to in April, as a matter of fact. Uh, and then there's the Chibi series, which is, I think, is insanely funny, especially if you've watched the main series. It's just a bunch of shorts and stuff. So what I've been doing with my sister is sending her like clips from the Chibi series, or the Chibi series is kind of just clips in itself. Um, so that was that was one of them, which is pretty funny. A lot of them are actually pretty funny, and that's kind of what we actually did like last week, is just watch like two hours worth of Chibi episodes. So yeah, there there is that. That was actually kind of funny in my opinion, because like I said, I think it's I think it's funny. And then what's funny for her is that I don't think she has a clue about any of it, and she still finds parts of it funny without like the context. So that's what's funny to me is like you don't actually even know why this joke is funny. It's apparently just a funny joke. It's good jokes. Exactly. And so that was one of the jokes, for example, where it's like it's it's just like it's like it's child safety locks, but they are neither children nor safe. And it's like it, it's something that simple. That's just something that makes me laugh at this point. I don't really need to do like the crude humor. That's not really ever been my thing. So I find that way more funny than the uh, like crude humor and stuff like that. So there's that, too. But lately, I think what's also kind of funny for me, again, this is really for me. I'm going to let you talk, of course. And you can talk, period, by the way. I just, I kind of been doing this for a bit. So this is my, it's my job to be the one to, what are you doing? <laughs> I touched your face. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Um, so with that being said, one of the things that's funny to me is in, in Chibi, right? Most of the characters are in Chibi at this point. If you don't know any of the characters, this is like new territory. I'm not going to spoil anything in case you are someone that's like, I kind of want to go back and watch some of that or that or whatever, right? But there's, there's one character in particular and their, their name is Crow. Okay. So oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you know where this is going. I, I jokingly told my sister, I was like, Oh, what if I, like, what if I told you he had, like, you know, like a brother that was named like Seagull and Robin, like the Teen Titan? Oh, no. <laughs> no, you can fill in. I said you can talk while I talk. You don't have to. You just gotta make sure you're close to the mic so they can hear you. Unless you don't want to. You don't have to. Chicken tenders. <laughs> well, she texts back a list of all these different other birds. And the funniest one for me, actually, was she texted back, Oh, and, you know, a brother named Captain Sparrow. And I'm just like, Oh yeah, that's a bird. Yeah, I guess that's a bird. I didn't catch it at first, <laughs> and it was actually a joke. It, it was it was a Captain Jack Sparrow joke, and it took him that long. It took me a week to, for that to click. It took him this. It took him a whole week to get that joke that he should have gotten instantly. Well, okay, she tweeted a fictional bird called a skua or whatever. It's not fictional. You saw it. I made you look it up. Yeah, I did Google it. I, I I saw it. Still working on believing it. I don't. I still don't think it's a real. The the spelling even throws me off. It's it's like S Q U A. It's it's like a real bird, I guess. Possibly. 
It sounds like it should be S Q U A S K U A. But anyways, point is that threw me off completely, it so lives I missed. In the Arctic, it eats penguin eggs. Well, that sounds just <laughs> horrifying. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's an actual bird that threw me off, so I didn't catch the sparrow joke until much later. I was like, dang, that's that's actually kind of funny, uh, entirely. So <laughs> that was actually something that made me laugh because it was just like. I don't know. That I guess that's just me lately, where it's like there's a lot of simplistic stuff, or even bad puns, because that's another thing with within uh, Chibi as well, especially with the Yang and stuff. There's a bunch of like quote unquote bad puns, but that's like the best way to break the ice with me. If you're someone who's like, I want to break the ice with this person, either because we're working on a project together, whatever. That's probably like the best way. I want to break ice too. I'll go get a pickaxe. <laughs> oh my goodness! There it is. There it is. I I did say it. I did say it. So there it is. <laughs> But yeah, so I I was I did I don't know I just find stuff like that funny. I'm I'm just really simplistic basically, and it's been kind of funny because like I said, out of context because I've watched the actual series all the way through. Uh, the season seven doesn't come out. I be- or I say season volume seven. I apologize. It uh, doesn't start until October, I believe. So that's still months away. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been. I've just been texting just the UR links for like different chibi episodes, and so it's like inside jokes now. Like for example, the word nefarious. And I, this that's, is a real icebreaker, huh? Yeah. Anyways, yes, yeah, so that's actually been kind of fun. Like I said, it's it's something my friends have been into for a while, and like I said, I wasn't necessarily like against it. Like, oh, I don't want to watch it. I've I've kind of seen it. That not really interested. It's more like I've just been so busy with college. It's why videos have slowed down on both channels. It's why streaming has slowed down completely. It's just college. And so I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna be behind anyway. So let me just binge watch the whole series. And so that was fun. Uh, to the point, and it's funny. Because, like, again, without spoiling, there's, like, things I'll see my friends talk about. And for me, I'm like, oh, because I binge-watched the whole series, that's still kind of fresh in my mind. I think I know why that is, how that is, kind of a thing. And that's kind of actually pretty interesting to me, where now it's, like, it feels like it's been, like, I've kind of, like, I'm in the circle now, where I kind of know what everybody's talking about when that gets brought up. That's always a fun experience. What about you? Have you ever been, you ever been, like, filled in on something, and you're like, oh, now I get the joke or something, or now that feels cool to be able to also know what they're talking about as you're growing up here potato oh uh, yes baked potatoes and the secret to cooking them with like bacon bits some melted cheese some of the sour cream butter the the, the Salt butters and pepper of course and then you get to eat it all it's delicious apparently you're not supposed to eat the skin but uh, you know I, I uh you ate the skin i ate the bones what's next you eat the banana peels Oh, okay. No. <laughs> you eat Anyways. the pistachio shells? You eat the orange peels? See, this is why you're away from the mic, so they can't hear you very well, fortunately, so you don't hear all my secrets. You eat the eggshells? No, that's, that's, that is, that is, that is a, no, no, okay. <laughs> but anyways, you know, um, so that's, that's something that's been kind of interesting, at least for me, I think, when, with, with volume seven coming up. Uh, there's like, cause I try to not really analyze things as I watch the series. I kind of tried, like maybe you do this too and you can weigh in when you just watch shows. Do you ever like kind of theory craft or think about, oh, I think I know where like what's going to happen in the next episode or why this character might feel this way or something like that with whatever you watch, right? Like maybe. Well, I kind of did that with this thing called Danganronpa, which is one of the biggest things I got into before uh, watching this. And it was because I had a friend, same concept, had friends that were in it for years, finally got into it like tail end of 2017 or actually really the beginning, but didn't really get into it until the new game came out in 2017. And that game's really like a murder mystery. So again, without spoilers, like there's a lot of analyzing that goes on with that. So I decided this time, let me just not, let me just watch and just kind of enjoy things. And I'm still kind of processing some stuff from volume three. So, you know, that's fun. But also it, it's 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 kind of been fun in general because I kind of do kind of tend to do that thing where I'm like, oh, I think I know where this is going. Or I, I wonder, oh, I think I know why this might be like this. And kind of just not knowing that. Oh, my nose is plugged. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks, SpongeBob. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I took your nose. You shall never breathe oxygen again. I mean, I, I have a mouth. I took your mouth. You shall never breathe or speak again. <laughs> okay, you can have that now. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's just been something that I, I'm kind of using this as an example to talk about that as well. <laughs> wow, you are excited today. Continue. Um, 
But also, speaking of, speaking of, I guess since you took my nose, I'll segue that with this. One of the also funny things I was kind of doing, also going back to the, the birds, right, is, uh, one of the things she texted back was like, oh, and he has a <laughs> sister named Raven. And I was like, you know, about that, as a matter of fact. So we went, and the context for why this is funny to me is because earlier that day, Mulan was watched, and I believe it was Netflix or Hulu, which one was it? Or it was just both? Flixnet. Flixnet. It, it was it was Mulan. Mulan's one of the things that even for me, I still think it's one of like the best movies ever made. Up there with like a goofy movie, which is criminally underrated, uh, and stuff like that. And they have like the one it's scene. Okay. It's okay. Kid. Is it is it okay? The one the one person got eliminated off of American Idol or whatever because the judges didn't know on Disney night what a goofy movie we even was. So Powerline, come on now. Anyways, but well, the context is why this was funny is because we we just watched that and there's like the pour the tea scene, right? So in, in in relation to Crow, we were watching one of the episodes from Volume Five. It's the one where he has the list and he's going around again. I won't spoil heavy heavy stuff, but like he's going around with the list for those that know that scene. And like everyone's like he can't find nobody, so he's like, what what was what was he doing? Remember? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was hilarious. But like later in that episode, uh, she's in the episode, and I paused it because the one part we were watching was done, and she's holding a teacup, and so it was like the funniest thing for me because we had just got done watching Mulan and laughing about that movie the whole time so it was like literal pour the tea but i took it a step further and what i've done lately is i've been taking various screenshots of them and like taking like the middle of their face out so it's just like mouth and eyes and it's not funny by itself like that i'll probably i don't i meant to just do this like as like a still image so you never have to actually like watch the video i might actually put pictures up of it because it's funny to me because one time i went to hug my sister and it was at a weird angle and so I could only see her eyes and her mouth. I couldn't see her nose and she was laughing and it looked like the funniest thing I've ever seen. So now I've been doing that to these images lately and then sending them as like reaction images and text messages to her. And it's just been the funniest thing for Every me. Every night. Every night. I see those images. <laughs> just, I haven't been able to sleep since. I will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Even my therapist is worried about me. <laughs> right, so it's like there's no there's no specific reason why I, I chose Raven specifically. It was just more like we paused it at that perfect point where because the teacup reminded me of Mulan, I'm like, okay, well we're committing to this now. Um so yeah, so that's something that I've been also just in, been enjoying lately. I've been talking about it on Twitter. Just that's I, I should be doing work done. That's what I've been doing instead, is just going back through looking for screenshots to do that with. I'm eventually gonna expand it into a whole empire with a various amounts of characters and stuff like that too but yeah that's that's a good way to probably start off this because that's that was a lot of talking points again you're allowed to talk a lot by the way i'm just close to the mic because apparently the mic's having a hard time hearing us if we're not like right hey, here it's the funniest thing he's ever seen are you okay you know i ask myself that question when i get out of bed and the answer is no honest you're not that's the answer <laughs> well i was gonna say the honest answer is yes fortunately if you wake up in the morning you're okay to an extent, right? Like you're not dead. You're able to, you know, breathe, hopefully move on your own, not sleep paralysis, stuff like that. Uh, hopefully if you're going through something, eventually you can get on the side of the hurdle. But you know, that starts with being okay, right? Like even if you're not great, even if you're not fantastic, you, you gotta start somewhere. Sometimes that maybe is just an okay. I can uh, see that. And waking up is kind of that, you know, that okay. And then we can maybe get on with uh, more stuff beyond that. But, uh, yeah. That's that's kind of been what the past couple of weeks have been is college, college, and then Ruby Chibi, Chibi, Ruby, Ru dang, I forget which order it's in because like there's good job, wow, thanks, okay, you're welcome. No, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. It's the Knox gear. Oh, because it says Knox gear on it for the oh yeah oh, yes here we go yes just just perfect, but okay. Segwaying into the uh, uh, next thing then to talk about, we can always keep talking about that too for the whole entire time. I just think we're kind of out of talking points unless you have more you want to say on it. But anyway, that's that's the thing we've been doing like around the house. We'd be just inside jokes where it's like we pretend to lock a door, a car door, and it's that one scene with the child safety locks or or uh, what was the other one? The room. The room. Oh. No, it was, it was Neo's Neapolitan. That's okay. what it was. Okay, but but I I was thinking maybe okay we we you make an ice cream that's red white and blue and you call it Neapolitan. But um. 
So actually, no, that's what I wanted to do. Let me ask you, as someone who has no idea about like the actual show, like I think we watched maybe episodes one and two just so I could show her the difference between Chibi and like the main series. With with someone who has like no knowledge, well, I, get, well, I get the idea. The real one is supposed to be very serious, and like the, the Chibi one. Is well, like I mean, I guess compared to the Chibi one, the main one looks a bit more serious. I'd say at least until the end of volume three, it's it's a little bit more in the light. Birdie, no. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> that was the the part where he throws him off the cliff. Yeah, um, the stand up and stuff like that too. But uh, what I was gonna ask was, as someone actually who has like no context really though of like the main main series, what what expectations then, like completely blind of of a volume seven, which is like you know season seven of the show with no information at all, with only what you know from Chibi, go for it. Completely blind? I'm blind. No, give me my sight back. Oops. <laughs> Tell my mommy I love her. I'll never see the same again. Okay, uh, let me rephrase that. As uh, someone who just doesn't know what the plot is, only from what you know from Chibi, what do you think a season seven about the actual like main show is gonna be about, or like? Exactly. <laughs> See, because because I actually know you, I can't actually still decipher. Do you mean exactly or egg exactly? <laughs> Why not both? See, I I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I I knew it immediately. I knew it from the get go. From the get go. So that that'd be your prediction. There's a get go. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there's Larry. What was his name? Larry, Marty, and uh, the Dingoes. Nefarious. <laughs> you look like Dingoes to me. Right, so that's your prediction then. Yes. You can change your answer. You c- you can change your answer if you want. Yes. Yes, you want to change your answer. <laughs> yes. All right, all right, go for it. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, there you have it. That's a prediction from someone who has like no context background. I have my own, but I feel like I couldn't really talk about it too much. Again, without spoilers, because I just feel like I don't know. I feel like someone's gonna be like, I actually don't want. I want to watch this, but I don't want the spoilers, so I'm I'm trying not to. And so, if if you want, you can just hit me up somewhere for that. I guess if you want, if anyone cares that much, I'm trying not to. I'm, I, how do or how do I give my predictions without spoiling anything? I it, think it's easy. You just predict them. I think. Oh, here's my prediction. There there will be more episodes that will exist. <gasps> oh my gosh! For lengths of time. More episodes. In a new season. Oh, hey, you can't speak. You didn't have a prediction. You don't say. That's amazing. I got nothing. I, I. He's a genius. I do have something. I just again, I'm, I'm trying to be wary of spoilers. It's like Danganronpa, where it's like if you know someone who might get into it, you can't still talk about it with anybody because literally everything in that series is a spoiler because it's a murder mystery. So it's like, I don't, just, I, I can't even. I, yeah, what do you enjoy about it? Oh, I enjoy, uh, yeah, um, the, the color, no, can't talk about, co- dang, um. I, I really like oxygen. Exactly, like, that's, that's the route you have to go with some of these, it's just like, I can't. I, I really like. Breathing, the, yeah, the characters yeah, breathe. Um, I really like when, when the, when characters blink, that's nice. Or do they blink? Maybe they don't, because one of them's actually an alien without eyelids, like, you can't really get into. Oh, oh my gosh. Why would you say that? Dang it. And now and now the whole series, when you go and play it, you're going to be like, there's one of these people up in here never blinks. And then you realize they're all like sprites, and that's why they don't blink. But there you go. Now you're no, like, no, I don't want to Which an one's an alien? Or now, which now, one's now a I'm squid? Spoiled. spoiled milk. Now I'm spoiled. Well, And that's the thing about spoilers, too, right? Where it's like, sometimes spoilers won't bother people. I feel like, depending on the context of what it is you're watching, right? Like a Danganronpa, which is a murder mystery, where there's a lot more uh, things that can be spoiled. And if you are spoiled, it can maybe ruin it because it's so much mystery versus like maybe an action movie or something like that, too, right? Like, or when a big budget Hollywood movie comes out and people are like, it's been two days. I should be able to spoil this openly now because everybody must live the same as I do. And if you don't see this thing within the first like opening night, you probably didn't care about it anyways. As if people don't exist to live paycheck to paycheck or just budget differently and maybe can't, but do still wish they could. 
I get into a whole, we could get into a whole thing about that, and I'm not really going to. I will say that my own personal rule for those who have asked is like, I kind of, I'm going to wait probably at least a month or until it comes to like Blu ray and DVD or something before I talk about spoilers. Cause then it's more accessible to people. Then those people who maybe couldn't see it for one reason or another could have a more of a chance to see it. And then by then it's like, okay, well, maybe, right? It's, it's, it's a bit more of an option. And I went on a little bit of a side tangent because that just reminded me, you know, with like, you know, Endgame came out recently. We won't talk about Endgame spoilers and stuff like that either, but it's just like, that was a big one where I, I had some people I know. And like respect, and they're like, I, it's like you know, it's it's been it's been a whole weekend, a single weekend, as if like again, people don't maybe not have it like that, but also still wish they could or want to, and maybe they could if you give them the other two weeks to get to the next paycheck and like budget that out. But uh, yeah, this is a side tangent. Let's just keep this uh, funny. Or say something. Uh, something. Dang, right on command. It's 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 brilliant. It's this is a work of art right here. If you could only see. This fountain of Vegeta right here. No, if, not me. Not me, by the way. If you could only see this non-existent fountain. There's barely any water. <sighs> That's what I get for compliment, I guess, huh? All right. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is, this is fascinating and all, but I want my eyesight back. I don't want to be completely blind. There. Oh, thank you. You know, I was also thinking, okay, okay. Hats, but get this. Spaghettios. I don't know what. No. Hats for your legs. Hats for your legs. And we can call them kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I saw that coming actually. I I I couldn't warn y'all ahead of time. I I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't do nothing. That was that was just that happened. That happened, and we're all here enjoying it together. So you know what? There, there it is. There, it is. But you know, speaking of, uh, one of the reasons I brought up Dengen Rapa too was was voice acting actually because going back to anything we've talked about so far across this thing is it's just like you know what was funny when I was your age or like I guess extremely younger. Uh, when it came to voice acting and stuff, I didn't realize characters had voices. I was kind of just like, oh, it's like. When I was a kid, my kid brain was like, oh, it's uh, it's like TD- TTS on Twitch, right? The talk to speech stuff generated for these characters and they just have their own voices because like a computer system or something like creates voices for these characters to speak with. But like way back when I was a kid, not like now where that actually might even seem reasonable with how advanced you know, TTS is. You know, that is actually genius. Right, because then like you would eliminate voice actors, which would suck for them. And like I said, I didn't know voice actors existed, so I didn't know that would be such a problem. Um, but then I realized what, who voice actors was, and for the longest, I purposely would never look up like who the voice actors like were, what they looked like, and stuff like that. Denial. Kind of. I was kind of afraid that if I knew what they looked like, and then when I saw the character, I'd only like picture or really imagine the voice actor, and then vice versa. If I was watching like a, a panel or like a Q and A or something, and I saw them, I'd only be able to hear the character, especially if I was tabbed out or something. Because like, or what I'm getting towards is like because like you know, Volume Seven doesn't come out till October. I've kind of been like segued now into like a bunch of other things involving rooster teeth and such and i've just been watching it though like i basically the tldr the spoiler alert as i outgrew that phase though and i've, I've been looking up voice actors and stuff like that too um, but it's still kind of cool sometimes where I'll, I'll tab out of maybe a, a episode of always open or something or like the uh, rooster teeth podcast Dude, close out of always open ironic uh, tab out though not really close out but uh there's an episode that had markiplier on it and so like when you when i tab out it kind of sounds like it was like markiplier and like yang for example and that was like that was kind of cool but just in general it's like it's something that's kind of cool is to kind of actually look up some of the people and see the some of the stuff that they're into because like some of the people uh and, or in some cases there are people that have actually knew who they were or stuff like that and then like oh that's who you are I actually knew who you were um, with like, for example, Monokuma's uh, English voice actor for the games. He actually was the voice of like, uh, Takato and Digimon 3, which is, uh, not Frontier. Frontier is the one where they're kind of like the Power Rangers that can turn into the Digimon. I think 3 was called, or was 3 called Frontier and 4 was called something else that I forgot. Point is, season 3 is just what I used to call it. Um, he, he did a bunch of voices actually, some voices in Naruto and stuff like that too, and he does the voice for Monokuma. I can't do the voice of Monokuma, the English did voice. somebody summon me? But I was about to say, my sister can do both the game and the Funimation voices for Monokuma. So that was the Funimation, the dub, Smalls as we call it. 
Did somebody summon me? No, that's that was the game one. I said Smalls. Oh, well, I just did Smalls. We'll do Smalls again for the audience at home. Smalls again! Yeah, I, ca- I can't do the Funimation dub voice at all. I can't I can't really make voices, period, to be honest, but, you know. You You're know. making one right now. Am I, though? Really? I don't I don't really think so. Um and then the Sure f- you are. And then what we call ukulele, which is the cue to do the game voice one. Sure you are. What <laughs> was, what was that? <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're making a voice right now. Well, I was just then. I was doing the goofy voice that I did to do the Old Town Roads parody uh, a couple weeks ago now. Yeah. <clears throat> I brought that up just because, like, I, I I play this game called VR Chat, and my character in there for the longest has been Monokuma. You play a game called VR Chat? Oh my god! Continue. Jeez, thank you. <laughs> Maybe I don't. Uh, and and lately, there's been a project I've been asked to partake in, and to do the project, I'm gonna have to learn how to do Monokuma's uh, game voice. Um, a, because I can't do the Funimation voice. B, because there's there's quite a bit of people that got into Danganronpa through the the anime, but for a lot of us, it's through the games. Well, and then I mean, I mean you, you tried to do. do you I can't. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't you, do the you, rough, gruff voice. I can't no, do like no, the no, raspy do, voice. Do the other one. Try to. Do I can't do the other. But the high one. It's like it's like very high. I can't go high. Like the high. How high can I go? A uh, body. Has been no, I can't. Yeah, okay, that tried for like two seconds. There you go. Um, and then C though is also because like, of course, it's like, well, what about the 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 sub voices, the the Japanese voices? I can't speak Japanese, and so maybe it's just a me thing, but I feel kind of disrespectful trying to do like the Japanese voice, but like in English, I feel like that would come across just rude or uh, insulting, or maybe it wouldn't, of course, but I just feel like that would be the case. So I'm just gonna stick with the English you voices. Disrespectful, shameful, taco. Yes, I am. I'm a spaco, actually. I'm spaghetti in a taco shell. <laughs> but yeah, that's just uh, I brought that up as a side note because, like, I I'm I'm trying to like so I'm like I went I went to my sister for example. I was like, can you do this voice? And then if you can, eventually teach me how to do it. And she has a higher voice than I do, so she's slowly teaching me how to maybe make my voice do higher impression. <laughs> no, don't don't do that though. Don't 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 the the volumes on the microphone can't take that. That's that that would not. That's gonna hurt people's ears. Oh, I apologize. Your ears are forever shattered, though. You will never hear the same way again. Your hearing, as you know, it is forever ruined. Maybe this was a mistake for the first episode. I don't know. Uh, maybe this will... I, look, I, you know, I'm trying. I shall destroy and rid the world of perfect hearing. How nefarious. Now, um... Why, well, yes, it is nefarious. Thank you. Nefarious. <laughs> The word nefarious has just been, I don't want to say ruined, because I, I would say I'm having the opposite of that. I'm enjoying that now. Yeah, this is amazing. I can't I can't hear that word now without thinking of like those specific sketches from Chibi, though. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, just in general, this is kind of all over the place. This is the first episode. That's how it works. When we get talking points in the future, then it'll be way better. But you know, yeah, you know, uh, voice acting and stuff like that. What? I have a point. Go for it. How about this pencil? Okay. Okay, John Wick. Um, I was going to ask you, though, when it comes to just voices, period, because you, you're very, I'd say you're pretty energetic. Would you say you're energetic? <laughs> 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 That's about as close you're going to get from me right now. I'm tired. Uh, what, what would you say? Excuses. Of course. That's that's how the world <laughs> runs on. That's what the E in Earth stands for. Excuses. No, it stands for excitement. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay i should have turned that off before this but okay i didn't and now that was a mistake but yes um i was going to ask you though like when you because of your energy and when you do voices and stuff like that just in general not even just ukulele um ukulele the the, the code there is just because like i think it was like super dang up too it was one of the monokuma sprites where he had either the ukulele or he had like the the bikini looking thing because I used to, co- we used to communicate for a while and just Danganronpa sprites, not even words, just Danganronpa sprites. We were like I- Ibuki and uh, uh, Junko, Monokuma, and some other people. Uh, that was just, that's just no words. It was just these sprites, and it was, it was hilarious. Um, and that was one of those. That's what ukulele comes from, and that's why it's the game one. And then Smalls, it's because he has that one line where it's like, "You're killing me, Smalls." Um, I, th- I didn't clarify that. Anyways, 
question though is how what what do you do for voices like what would you say is your your vocal process when you think about doing a voice i speak brilliant <laughs> absolutely brilliant i know i'm a genius i'm einstein Finally, I'm 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 Einstein. I'm, I'm, I'm Einstein. A, de- a delicious meal. Back to life in this. Uh, in we this almost got away with one. In me. Well, for example, if I told you to do Kakashi, you already automatically know how to do what? Do Kakashi. No, I didn't. You you just did this before we hit record as a test, and you didn't even know I was testing you, and it was perfect. Now now we're on air, quote unquote. I'm on a chair. Ah, uh, you know what? Here we go. She did the line where it's behind, uh, behind behind this mask, right? Well, like you know how to do like a certain thing with your voice. It's like, another mask. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Um, like. I guess my thing is like so. What 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 do you, what would you say you do technique wise when you went when you try to do a voice? Well, first of all, you do it better. But second of all, in all seriousness, uh, I would say that uh, Kakashi, pretty deep voice guy, just uh, make my voice deeper. Just try to sound as close to him as possible, and you, and just really tr- try my best. Oh, so would you say range then, though? Like since you said deep, for example, like you 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 shoot you start with the range of a character's voice. Yes. Oh, okay. He said his voice is a deeper. His voice is way down here. Oh no! Oh god! My name is Kakashi Prime, <laughs> leader of the Auto Leafs. Autobots. At the end of the day, roll out. One shall stand, <laughs> and one shall fall. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, just imagine Optimus Prime, but with that voice. With like a Mickey Mouse. Uh huh. <laughs> At the end of the day, one shall stand and one shall fall. <laughs> My name is Optimus Prime, leader of the We Bought Everything, so we own everything, and it's coming to our streaming service. A uh, Netflix might die in like half a year. By the way, a oh, yuck, a oh, yuck. Speaking of Old Town Road, so I did a video. And it was, it was, it was goofy singing Old Town Roads. And I think the funniest part for me wasn't necessarily the video itself. I was, I, I mean, I, at the end of the day, at some point, you're proud of your stuff enough to actually put it online and make it public, right? But like for me, what really sold it for me as, you know what, this video might never actually reach any prominence whatsoever is my mother actually heard it. And the funniest thing for her was that I, I, in a, I made goofy say booty. <laughs> There's a lyric in the song, Wrangler on my booty, as in Wrangler pants, because it's a cowboy song. And that was the funniest thing. And I was like, you know what? If nothing else, I accomplished this. This is a okay, good video. I feel like it was like the goofy voice saying booty. Exactly. I can't do it. I have to warm up. <laughs> I, I don't even remember the lyric per se. <laughs> we Wrangler said- on my booty. <laughs> Something like that. Oh. You said Wrangler. <laughs> oh, that was it. Yeah. Flan. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really of a, I'm not really a cake person. How about an evil flan instead? <laughs> How do you booby trap flan? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. What could you possibly not understand about booby trapping this cake? How do they? You know what's funny about that? Because in that specific scene, and and Chibi is no spoilers. That's the thing about Chibi that's so nice is that well, outside of like the sixth episode in the first season, you avoid that one. You can kind of actually watch the rest of the series of chibi without watching the main series first there's just some jokes that will make a lot more sense if you do watch the main series first um that particular skit is is the one it's the one where it's like it, it's cinder torchwick neo mercury and emerald and they're and she's teaching them how to booby trap the cake and the whole uh, the whole premise is like it's just sticking a quote-unquote evil candle tm which is a dynamite into the cake and then it's booby trapped, and then when they go to light the candle, obviously the dynamite will explode the cake, and it's it, it's 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 classic, right? It's classic for the chibi first. What really made it funny for me though was, and I hadn't told you this yet. I meant to tell you this though, and I, I'll, I'll try because I'm trying to find the clip, and I can't find <laughs> You've it. Been keeping stuff for me. Not on purpose. I was trying to find the clip so I could show you it, and so just tell you it because it's funny. Um, part of the premise in that clip was that Emerald's like, how how does how do people just not know to stick a dynamite in a cake, and then Cinder lights the cake and it blows up. There's a there's a thing in this show. You might have heard of it if you're old enough called Batman the Animated Series. Oh, I watched that. Yeah, it was a good series. 
there's literally a plot point in one of the episodes where the Joker is trying to destroy basically the mayor's entire party by blowing them up with a cake that has a stick of dynamite in it. And no one notices until Batman, who gets at the last second to defuse the cake by like dumping it into the pool. Oh, good going, Batman. So basically, as ridiculous as that plot sounds, like if you go back to it, it was the episode where the Joker's calling himself Jekko the Clown. Uh, and, and just like, this is an actual thing, actually. He, Batman! He, all he did was stick a dynamite in a cake and almost just, you know, just blew everybody up because everybody's like, oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a evil candle, TM. And I'm just like, that's the funniest thing. So now I can't take that specific skit seriously. Um, because I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is an actual thing that like actually happened in like the nineties, basically with the freaking, uh, thing, right? Um, I kind of went a little bit sidetracked. Uh, what was I, where was I going? You know, I think I, on, I, I think I liked Batman Beyond better. I mean, that's the thing. It was like basically around the same time, like you had the animated series go right into Batman Beyond. So it's like, I, I can see that. Especially because Batman Beyond definitely had some gems. They had like the episode where they brought back uh, Mr. Freeze, and it was like basically a closing to his entire arc as a character. Um, you also just had like Batman as a as a character. This 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 one thing, and it depends on the canon, so to speak. But one of the things I always see people say is like, "Well, if Batman's so rich, you know, he's Bruce Wayne. Spoiler, uh, why doesn't he like you know just you know do more things with his riches?" And depending on the canon, it's because like Gotham's that broke and corrupt that you really kind of can't. He does have, like, the Wayne Foundation, and that's what I mean by canon, like, there's so many Batman series nowadays. Most of the time, though, the Wayne Foundation's function is to try and provide jobs for people and do stuff for the city through Bruce's, like, billions of dollars. But if it's just, like, one billionaire, it's, it's like, not enough also. Like, it needs to be Gotham's billionaires coming together, and, like, they never do because there's so much corruption and stuff. That's not possible. Now, does that mean Batman gets like a 100% pass for like everything he's done? No, but I thought I'd, I'd put that out there for a second because it's just like, that kind of is why. And it kind of sucks actually to think about, imagine being a billionaire and even with billions, you actually don't have enough money to just straight up get Gotham or like a city out of its debt. That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? And so I brought that up because like we see in Batman Shameful. Beyond. Stupid. <laughs> Insignificant. What are you doing with your life? You had one job and you can't even do it. Despite the many, 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 that you have. Are you even a hero? I'm kidding. I don't know. that, And that's the thing, too. And we can make a whole Batman episode at one point. But like, I don't really think he would even consider himself a, a hero, per se. Right. But uh, that's the thing about Batman Beyond, though, as you saw when Batman was gone for a while, both Batman and Bruce Wayne, like they both left the spotlight. Gotham just went to like this chaotic state where it's like so it's like on the monetary side, even though he wasn't enough to pull Gotham out of debt, he was enough to keep it limping on. For That was like literally the plot point in Batman Begins was Bruce's parents were trying to galvanize the city um and the billionaires to try and do something they wouldn't and they're in their death the billionaires finally came together to kind of try didn't really commit right and so in batman beyond what we see is when bruce kind of just kind of leaves his businesses uh that doesn't go well and then on the crime side without batman like literally there's just criminals running wild without batman at that point right so it's like Again, I'm not saying Batman's perfect. I am saying that is one thing I always see talked about that it's like, I don't expect people to really know that unless you're like maybe super into the character though. So I don't really criticize it, but like that is something that I kind of found interesting about Batman Beyond now that you brought it up was like, yeah, that was kind of what happens, I guess, when both his money and Batman just like go away. Cause he had a heart attack. Spoiler alert. He had a heart attack at the beginning of the series when he was trying to do a mission and he's like, he almost had to resort to shooting somebody with a gun to, for him and the hostage to survive. And that sickened him, so he decided, I guess my body can't do it anymore, it's time to hang up the cape, kind of a thing. And so then he was gone for like 40 years. What did you like, though, about Batman Beyond? Sorry, I'm sorry. It's my job to talk your faces oh, off, no, I'm sorry. no, 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 it's fine. No, I mean, but like, you can you can speak, though, like, what, what, what would you say you liked about Batman? <laughs> oh, that could be it, too. Also, at the time, for, at least for me, when Batman Beyond came out, there's a show, you can speak, go ahead. I really, I, I really liked, um, um, I really liked the opening. I mean, the, the opening was pretty dope. It, it was, it was cool. But what I, but what I liked was like, 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 like Terry's, uh, Terry's uh, bat suit. It, okay. Yeah. It, it was a pretty cool design. Yeah. That's, that, it was a pretty cool design for me. What was one of the coolest parts about Batman beyond, uh, was at the time when I was, uh, I was, I was, but a, a wee youngin, 
uh, you know, back with hopes and dreams all in my eyes. Uh, there was a show on the air called Boy Meets World, and the older brother was named Eric, Eric Matthews, and he was he's he is the person that played Terry McGinnis's voice actor. Um, at the time, that was like the only time as a kid contracting that other story I mentioned, where like I knew the voice actor beforehand. And again, kind of the same thing where I was like, oh, because I knew who this was. Sometimes I kind of would see Eric Matthews as Batman Beyond. Other times I'd see Batman Beyond as Eric Matthews. And so it was, it was kind of an interesting, kind of a cool thing, though. Um, but yeah, I, I would say Batman Beyond was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Batman the Animated Series is pretty dope, too. Um, especially at for its time, I wish it was on a Netflix or or Hulu or something. I don't know. But like out of the, out of the two, I I prefer Batman Beyond. I see. See, I prefer the animated series, but I do think Batman Beyond was criminally underrated. I do think it's actually a really great show too. As a matter of fact. Yes, it was. Yeah. So yeah. So let's see. We've gone over some Ruby stuff. We've gone over some Dangan Rampa. You know, for for whatever reason, every time I think of Batman Beyond, I just I just think of of this one episode, and I don't and I don't this and I don't like remember too too much of it. But I just remember this one episode of like this guy, and I think it's like this belt or like this suit he has that lets him like phase through like walls and floors and stuff and he was like a bad guy or something like that oh oh i think i know what you're talking about and then something goes wrong and eventually he's like keeps going through like phasing through floors and like apparently he he would just keep doing that until he reached like the center of the earth or the, something. the center of the planet where he'll be stuck forever until he's you know starves to death and then that's just it wait shouldn't he whoa whoa whoa, whoa. no 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 shouldn't he die instantly well he's phasing through everything so like the heat of the magma and stuff isn't going to kill him Oh. Unless okay. this is like Knuckles in Sonic Adventure 2 where his flaming gloves can hurt Ghost, right? Then he has a problem once he gets through the crust. But beyond that, otherwise he'll just be stuck in the center of the planet for like at least seven, eight days until he starves. Okay, but okay, what if he keeps going and then eventually he's in space? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not That's not how gravity works. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, 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 I know. But like, what if? Well, I mean, if we want to go hypotheticals, as long as we just, you know, prefix this as a science lesson, you there, there is no falling through to China, right? If you're going towards the center of the planet, you just be at the center of the planet. Like, you wouldn't go through the other side. Like, gravity would just keep you right there. But hypothetically, if we want, I love hypotheticals. That's what I do. That's why I experiment with, like, Jinx builds and League of Legends, or at least used to. Um, that would suck, because the thing about it is, like, he's falling through the ground because gravity is sucking him, like, down towards the thing. But if you just... Like phase through into space, it would imply gravity doesn't necessarily have a hold on him, so that he could just keep per- like in a certain direction. His trajectory would just carry him indefinitely for like at least, like I said, seven, eight days. However long it would take him to really kind of starve to death and die. And the thing about that that could be terrifying is like even though he would be unaffected by things like the cold of space and maybe the lack of oxygen, maybe that wouldn't actually affect him. A if there's, you know, oxygen was a problem, then he dies as soon as he like, gets on the other side of the atmosphere. But if that's not an issue, he might see like like a black hole. He gets sucked into one or something. I don't know. Um, even even if gravity isn't really affecting him, he might just be in the direction of a black hole and just fly through that and get to know what's it like on the other side, but never get to tell anybody. <laughs> so there'd be a lot of actually terrifying things about that. Exactly. So I was wondering if that was the case and that happened to him. That would be wild. That would be very, very wild. Yeah, wild. What is what is this voice? Is let's st- no. I'm no. I'm not getting drawn into this. I, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No. Speaking of voices, what's that one like Batman voice you do? Which is what, like bat- what? Like the Batman, like you like the Batman voice you did in your like Thanksgiving video. Oh, and it's geez. like the Batman. Okay. So I did this Thanksgiving video for 2016 where I had all the voices I could possibly do. Some of them pretty bad because I tried to do as many characters. Because, like, it's Thanksgiving dinner. So I had, like, I had, like, Black Doom from Shadow the Hedgehog. I had Mephilus the Dark from Sonic 06. I had Gangplank from League of Legends. Uh, Project Lucian specifically. Knuckles the Echidna. The Sonic Boom version. Um, and I had Batman. And I had Bane. Right? Where I was like, the fire rises. Uh. I can't do it on command. Like voices need warm up work, and I haven't really warmed up before this, so all these voices are gonna be really jank. But there was there was that one, and for the Batman voice, it's the Christian Bale. So it's like the 
Because, like, you can't understand a But, thing. like, you can't understand a single word that, like, the, the joke in the video was you couldn't understand a single word that Batman was saying, except me. I could just understand it, A, because I wrote the script, but B, because it was, like, that was one of the comedic points of the video was, it's, like, R2-D2 or, like, Chewbacca when he's speaking. is like, you can just understand it. But, you know, people couldn't or could. And it was it was hilarious. So that it was kind of just a gruffle. There's a skit a long time ago where they did like a, a the Dark Knight interrogation scene spoof. And it was like the Joker and Batman. And the Batman's like whole thing in the video is like he can't speak proper English. He just he speaks like. Rum, 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 rum. And the Joker like can't understand him for the, like the whole five minute skit. He's like, I can't understand a single word that you're saying. What's going on? It was. Yeah. So that's that's the Batman uh, voice. That, that, that was pretty funny. Yeah, I, I I guess you could say that was pretty funny. Cause you, cause what what, what was that Twitch? I was hiding. <laughs> That's better than Vagar. Vagar is really hard on the throat. He's like, I will. S- no, I can't even do Vagar. I will swallow your soul. It's like something like that. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, you're n- oh, oh, that's the Starscream and Megatron from like the old like Gen 1 Transformers. Because me and my sister are actually over like 500 years old. We've been around for a long time. Yeah. And actually, we've seen some things. Yeah, so we have. Oh, yeah. But there's like this, this scene where like, because it's classic Starscream trying to undermine and betray Megatron. Megatron obviously catches whiff. And so he's like, you're either lying to me or you're stupid. And because Starscream doesn't want to die, he's like, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> and Megatron's like, fine, whatever. Like, it was, it was kind of funny. I but will become the new leader of the Decepticons. It's like, like, heck you will. Uh, not with that. No, no whatever. <laughs> That's what the, that's what the voicing stuff was kind of okay. So a long time ago, and by long time ago, I mean 2014, right? Like the first episode, the first season of Sonic Boom came out, and that's where this kind of started because like I would do Knuckles's voice from there because like the first couple episodes either were really funny or really not funny. It was kind of like Robot Chicken, how Robot Chicken was very hit or miss, right? So it's like uh, what my sister would do is she would do Amy's voice from the skit where they're looking for a new sidekick. Cause like Tails gets injured on a mission with Sonic. Sonic's worried about Tails going out with him anymore on missions because he could get hurt again. So he's like, I'm just going to go look for a new sidekick. So then you can't get hurt. Tails ain't happy about that. But Sonic's like, well, this is what's happening because that was really scary. Um, and so there's a skit where like even Knuckles and Amy end up coming in to be interviewed to be his new sidekicks. And my sister, at least at the time, I don't know if she still keeps up with it, but she could do a really good Amy voice from the series, and I could do Knuckles' voice. So we would just do that whole scene for those two characters. My name is Amy Rose, and uh, I will be auditioning for the part of Sidekick. <laughs> uh, that was the Crazy Pizza Man. That's what it was. It was a Crazy Pizza Man. Oh, good, because I am fine with nepotism. <laughs> oh, and the Saints! Go marching in! Ba-ba-da-da-da. Oh, man, I haven't warmed up. Hold on. I think... You'd be a great sidekick for me. No, Knuckles. We'd have to change the name, though. I'm thinking Knuckles Jr. Next. And so, like, at the very end of the episode, Knuckles is, like, sad. And, like, because, like, the, Knuck- the Knuckles Jr. thing isn't quite working out. And then hey, it- Knuckles, what's wrong? Oh, the-, the Knuckles Jr. thing just isn't working out. Maybe you need a crazy pizza man who juggles and sings. <gasps> Knucklina! And, like, the- Amy decides she'll just be a sidekick. And then there we go. So, yeah, it was just, yeah, bravo, bravo. <laughs> Behind this mask. Behind that mask. Is another mask. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's just kind of fun to do goofy voices sometimes, whether it's a goofy voice or it's a goofy voice. Gorsh. <laughs> I got the horses in the bike. Horse tacos are tired. You know, like... It's just sometimes it's just fun to do goofy voices to mess around. Also, if, when you're working on a project, don't don't do that. Oh. I appreciate I appreciate the effort for some background music though, but uh, I don't I, the microphone's not liking that. Now that you can't whistle, no, no, you can whistle just fine, like as a person. But, like the mic was not having a good time well, with. Thank you. Yeah, it was great. Someone appreciates it. <laughs> She's like mean mugging the microphone. <laughs> um, there is one thing I want to talk about, and while you're here, I guess we could talk about it. So, <sighs> League of Legends. Improve your work culture. Um, Riot Games is coming out with a uh, new new game mode. Not really a new game mode. It's supposed to be like a new game called Team Fight Tactics. So for those that don't know, Dota, like towards December, came out with this thing called Auto Chest. 
It's kind of like it sounds automatic chess, but using like characters from Dota to kind of play chess in a sense. There's a bit more depth to it than like just a regular chess game, though. And so, like, people like August Browning, the kit designer for Jinx, Vi, Echo, Nar, Jin, uh, he's working on a new AD carry later this year. That's going to be kind of exciting, actually, for me. Uh, on his stream, he'll often play, and for like the past uh, five months, be playing auto chess, Dota auto chess, and stuff like that. So, what they've done is they've made their own version called Team Fight Tactics. And they've released the roster actually for how many champions are going to be in it. Like there's different uh, classes and different stuff. No, Jinxes. That's what I'm getting towards. Jinxes not actually going to be in the uh, initial release roster of 50. Disappointment. There's I no- am disappointed too, actually, because okay. I was like, I actually might stream League just to play this game because well, it's going to be, I have like a PBE your- account. So I'm like, J- I might as well dust it off. And- Jinx is like your main character. No, no, no. Jinx is not one of the even the 50 main characters that are going to no, be... No, I know, like your main character. Oh, yeah, yeah I main Jinx. That's what the whole other channel is about, is Jinx. GG, get Jinx, right? Like, uh, So, so I'm, the, now I'm like I'm like in backup plan mode. I'm like, well, what am I going to do? Okay, Zon. I like Zon champions. I like Zon. There's like barely any Zon champions. I'm like, ah. So is Vi there? No, there's barely any Zon champions. Oh, Ari? I guess she's Piltover, but uh, Ari might be up in here. I haven't really looked outside. Like, there's some Ionia champions. You got... You got always nerfed forever Akali, uh, forever 21 nerfed. Um, that was a bad joke. You got Zed. Actually, yeah, there's Ari. So Ari is, yeah, she is, she is actually going to be in the first 50. Now, that being said, they are planning on adding more champions to the roster after release. So Jinx might make it into the game as well as uh, any of your favorite characters not here yet. But I just, I brought that up because like, I actually kind of. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. I do. I think I do want to take a shot at this game though. Um, cause I didn't really get into auto chest when that was going on with the Dota, cause I'm not really into Dota to begin with, and I didn't really necessarily have to either learn Dota to be able to get into it and stuff like that, download a whole new thing. I'm lazy. I already have the League of Legends client, so I could always just boot it up, and it's gonna be in the client. I just wanna make a bold prediction though. Here's my prediction with like the Epic Store being a thing. Here's my thing, right? Five years from now, the League of Legends client is just going to become something called the Riot Games Store, and League of Legends is going to be like maybe the flagship game on it, and when this is as successful as they hope, this will be like another one, and then eventually games will be released to the Riot Games Store client, and that's just going to be how that's going to be. And let me tell you right now, let me just say this right now, because Steam doesn't have Shadow the Hedgehog or Sonic 06 or Sonic Unleashed. The Epic Store doesn't have those three games. I swear if after all this time, you know, branching out and doing variety and stuff, if the Riot Games client store ends up having those three games on it, I'm I'm gonna lose my mind. Like really, it just I just I can't escape apparently. That's And then you're gonna and then you're gonna have to go find it and that's gonna be a lot of work, probably. Depends on where Depends on how far it goes. I mean, there's that, but it's just for me. It's just like I'm, I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to get this off the ground, and then, then, boom! Here they hit me with this. I'm like, you peoples, yes, of course, yes. Uh, yeah, I know. Because the other channel is like partnered, and I can put ads on it and stuff. So that's kind of like the money maker channel, where I was like, okay, what what video do I have to put up here? What thumbnail? What title? Whatever. Let's put that up. And then this is the channel where we get to do the for more fun stuff that I actually like want to do, even though that's not the case over here. Like I don't do it for that per se. But when you ask me, it's like, well, doesn't that mean you're taking like a revenue hit or something? It's like it kinda. I guess it kind of does mean I am, um, because this one isn't the one where I have the most soul into, but it's the one I like doing. The other one's the one where I'm just like, what what's what's the big thing on the PvE? Oh, a new skin for uh Yorick who I never play. Now I have to either pretend like I like like Yorick in the skin or I just don't do a video and just don't do nothing. I usually tend to do that second one though, because I feel like I don't want to do dishonest videos even in that realm. Like it's the moneymaker channel in terms of this is the one we do to do what we need to do, but like, I don't know. No? I'd rather do the stuff like we do over here. Which is just kind of whatever we want, as long as it's of course like nice and like legal and not offensive and stuff. But yeah, I'd rather do a whole video of just cringy, and I use that word l- l- very tightly because I don't really like that word in general. But like in, in terms of like bad voice impressions, I'm I I can do like some voices to a level, but I can't really do I think one voice super well. I'd rather do a whole video of doing bad voice impressions of various like just name a character right now. I'm gonna call that guy right there Joe. Lucian's name is now Joe. <laughs> his name's Joe Lucian. Or Lucian Joe. That's like his full name. Lotion. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Okay, but like, look, even that, right? Everybody dies. Some just need a little help. 
right? Like, I'd rather do, like, a bad Lucian impression video than, like, do some really offensive, like, prank, challenge, whatever stuff. I don't know. But name another character. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. I'm gonna call, uh... No, you don't have to be off of this. Just period. My bad. I, I should have clarified. You could be any character. Okay, I'm gonna call that guy over there, Steve. I actually don't know if Steve even has a voice. I have, like, streams in the I background up on my TV via the Roku stick, and so, like... Right now, someone's playing, like, uh, I believe playing Bloodborne. Yeah, so I I don't know. Okay, do Darth Vader. You will now ride this unicycle, and you will refer to yourself as Mary. And you will have a little lamb. I've altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. It sounds a, it sounds a bit worse, because, like, usually when you do a Darth Vader voice, even if it's very amateur, you can still use Audacity to go put the, uh, the echo filter on it for, like, 0 0.005 seconds. So without it, it probably sounds really, really bad. It's like Kylo Ren's, right? We're like, I will finish what you started. But it's not going to sound good unless you have the filters in there. Oh, that's like the base of what... Oh, my... All right. Party! Okay. Star versus the forces of evil. Now, um, speaking of Darth Vader, though, it's like it's funny. I, I, w when we were younger, I used to think that the way to the, the the way to speak and say what Darth Vader's breathing sounded like was he was saying oatmeal. So when you would breathe in, you say oat, and then when you breathe out, you say what? meal. I, yeah, look, look. Me it sounds more like copper. Okay, let me see. See? See? Uh, I always heard copper. It's there. Exactly. I was hiding, man. Get it? I look. How are you hiding when you can ult me from like nine thousand range away, Twitch? That's like someone hiding like across like the room in a convention, being like, but like no one else is in the convention room. It's like maybe you and eight other people. Counting you and them, and they're like, I was hiding. It's like, there's no one else really up in here. And you're not even like, even though you're stealth, you're not like, it's not like, even Vayne, however you feel about Vayne, Vayne has short range and does have to get close. Twitch is like, I am stealth and also far away and outrange your auto attack range. And yet, whenever I complain about Twitch, people like to say, but you play Jinx and she has range crits. When have you ever been afraid of a Jinx popping out of stealth in your face? ulting you so like long range that even if you flash away you're still in range of the ult and probably dying under your tower I name would be so one... happy <laughs> <sighs> no it means she'd be broken and have to be like like actually broken i don't use that word lightly either like but, like that would actually be busted and she would actually deserve nerfs and stuff over like that's not well then get your tools and fix her Y'all, we might have to call it here. I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> I, I need help. I need help. Mm -hmm. Help me. Oh, uh, everyone uh, Everyone knows that the best hiding spot is behind a pole lamp. No one can see you there. <sighs> so anyways, yeah, we've been talking for about a lot of stuff right now. Do you have any, like, final thoughts or, like, a final topic you really want to go over before you, like, forget something? Smalls, ukulele, small lele. Small lele. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there now. Clouds are in the sky. My name. Well, you said if I had, you said if I had final thoughts, and that was my thought. Behind this mask. Behind that mask. I was hiding. Like, you look, oh like, no! Like, what kind of ending was that? That was Twitch Prime. No, anyways, yes, if you have Twitch Prime, you might want to go subscribe for free if you link your Amazon account with your Twitch account on twitch.tv, in which case you can Auto subscribe bots. to one of your favorite Autobots for one month for free. You have to renew it monthly. Autobots, eat ramen, believe it. No, I'm just kidding. That's not actually what Twitch Prime is, or I might make a dedicated video at one point just to do a Twitch Prime. Like, everybody kind of wants to do, like, a Twitch Prime video, at least, like, a little bit. Now and then you start to death in a bowl of ramen. Dang, that's dark. <laughs> uh, and then you start thinking about it, and you're like, I really don't want to do a Twitch Prime, like, ad-esque video 
I think it'd be cool to think about doing, but then you don't actually want to do it because like either you feel scummy about doing it or you just kind of don't actually want to do it. But it's kind of fun to think about some ideas, right? Like I made the Twitch Prime joke. I might make a video just because I just made that Twitch Prime joke. You might have to worry about that in the future if you're subscribed to this channel for whatever reason. Uh, I'm, that might come now. I don't know. Mm, mm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, help. Help me. Help me real quick. What would you name? Jumping back to one of the first topics, what would you call the style of picture where I take like the middle part of the face out and it's just eyes and mouth? You can call it when you take out the middle and it's just eyes and mouth. Oh, okay. I guess I don't really have to worry about it until we do more characters. The only character, again, it's just Raven at this point. It's it's still funny as heck though. <laughs> again, because it reminds because they have the T, so it just reminds me of Mulan as well. It's just a combination of things. Without context, it's not funny. With context, it's... More of the T. With context, it's hilarious. I promise, one day. Well, you can do you can do it with anyone. You can do it with yourself. The whole no nose thing. Yeah, here's the thing. Out of the out of the aforementioned people, and then myself, I guess it's not really people, just person. One of us looks horrible, especially right now. Spoiler. Yeah, you do look horrible. Yeah, about it's me. I need to shave, but it's so hot lately that I can't because it's so hot in the bathroom. And shaving this would at least at least take like a good ten minutes. And even that would be hot because then the blade gets hot while I'm shaving. And so it's just a whole mess. I got it. You shave with the door open. <gasps> when I live with people. That's not with how. A fan. And blow the hair around. We won't mind. You won't. I, I'm the one that has to clean it up. It's like. Exactly. It's your problem. It's like cleaning up sand off of a very wide space like like just take buckets of sand sprinkle them around a convention floor and be like you got to pick okay. up every individual grain of sand you can't be gara you got to do it by hand like you know no maybe not well i just did why are we doing raspy voices now i was trying to be gara why are we doing raspy voices I, I, just, I said I was trying to be Gara. What up, Raspy Voice? Covered the entire floor with sand. My name is Raspy Voice, Rasp Voice. You I can make a beach and call it Beach, beach room. Raspy. Oh. Be beach Room. I haven't drank in a minute, so I can't actually do a proper Rasp Voice with like the good, good old quality in it. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never, never do that again. Which part? The uh, the, um, what, the what you just that did that part or the, or, the, a, or the laugh? No, no, no. The, the, what you just did to create a raspy voice? Never. Yeah. It, no, no, it's it not. Give, not it gives it. me no, more. It's just getting bad now. I'm gonna stop that. It it it, it, it gives me more nightmares than no, no noses in Pyramid Cave. Jeez, really? That's how you had to go? Like, <laughs> be exactly. happy I'm not doing Black Doom's voice, because his voice, Black Doom is voiced by the person that voices Goku, as a matter of fact. I didn't know that. They sound so, like, most voice actors kind of sound the same, right? Like, when you think of, like, say, Yuri Lowenthal, you know Sasuke's voice when you hear Sasuke's voice. Wait a second, they do? Yeah, Goku voices Black Doom in Shadow the Hedgehog, and that's such a hard voice to do. And he does it with no filter. Like, people have asked him to do it at conventions, and he can just do it. Um, and there's other voices where it's like, oh, it makes that makes a little bit more sense. Like if if you Mephilus, Mephilus is kind of like a deep, but also I guess kind of raspy voice, where it's just like, what's a good what's a Mephilus line? Oh, how ironic fate can be! I never believe I was resurrected through your shade. I thank you, Shadow the Hedgehog. Right, Lord? It's like you kind you had some of that rasp in there, but it's kind of deep. Versus like a, a purely raspy voice, like a Gara or something, where it's just my shades. Behind my shades. Maria. <laughs> or like the old shadow, yes, yeah, something like that. Oh no. It's it's sad boy hours. Anyway. Maria. Let's let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. So is there anything else like you just in general want to say though? Pickle. I, I knew I knew it. Uh, so I'm going to take a second to shout out our sponsors that we don't have. But if you want to sponsor us, then no, I will sponsor you till the end of time. But with that being said, I want to give some shout outs. Let's give some shout outs. Sponsored because by Neo Politician, the red, white, and blue um, ice cream that represents politics. <laughs> it's probably poison. Sweet, delicious Neo Politician. It's probably poison. Strawberry, vanilla, and 
I don't know, blueberry. Nefariously poison. <laughs> exact. Wait, no. Do, <laughs> do, 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 do. politician. Yep, there we go. Sold uh, nowhere. Uh, let me give a shout out here. Let's let's shout out. Ah! <laughs> sure. Uh, let's shout out good old Scarzard Plays over on twitch.tv slash Scarzard Plays. Beauty. Night. <laughs> yeah, and my sister's still excited. We got to meet him last year at PAX, and it was the greatest thing ever, actually. Yes, but you can check him out on Twitch. They stream. They're a variety streamer. They are a former, actually, Riot Games employee that now has branched out to do their own things, form their own brand. It's great. They have a YouTube that's just Scarzard where they play Frendetta, which, if you want to go check out that series, I highly recommend you do. Where even this if you're massive beard plays games, and it's just the beard. She really, she thinks his beard is one of the coolest, like, beards literally in existence. Well, it's, it's, it's like, a, well, it's a, it's a big, big beard. It, it, it is a really impressive beard. They do have a really impressive beard, yes. But with that being said, um, they do that, if, even if you're not into magic, uh, like, it's a really great show because the way that's paced and done is you can know nothing and probably learn stuff as you watch. They take the time to explain stuff. It's great. They're a great person. You should go check them out, support their Patreon, whatever the case is, go check them out. And there's many other people I could also, you know, uh, give a shout out to as well in this video that I actually will put down maybe in the comment section down below because honestly last time I tried to do like a quick shout out thing it was like 20 minutes of shout outs because there's just so many people for so many good reasons I want to but they're one of the oldest people that I've been giving shout outs to for a while because they've been one of the people that have been most supportive about my endeavors too I'm not saying there's nepotism involved uh, I guess that sounds kind of bad when I put it that well, way maybe but maybe they are fine with nepotism just more like, you know, there was someone who, before most of the people that know me now know me, was like, still like, hey, you know, maybe you can do this, right? Like, you know, good luck kind of a thing. Outside of family, right? Like my, my sister, my mother, and my brother, they're very supportive and I love them too. Um, but like outside of them, oh right? So gosh. it's like, yeah, yeah, even with all your foolishness. I love me too. <sighs> yep, there it is. Learned that from me though, so I knew that was coming. <coughs> oh, and sorry. You learned a water mallet from me. Yes. Okay. So I lied. There was another episode of Ruby we watched, and it was the food fight episode. Well, the food fight part of that episode, at least. And the water mallet refers to the watermelon that then becomes a mallet weapon. I don't want to spoil the food fight, but just go watch the food fight episode then, uh, if you want to know more about that. Uh, but yes. Yeah, so there, there's the shout out for them. Um, I guess I'm going to wrap it up. This room is actually getting kind of stuffy now. It. There we go. Psh, psh, wrap it up. Uh, this is why you don't have kids on podcasts. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Gorge. H, I, J, okay. Okay, so yeah, there's that. So uh, yeah, if you want to know, if you enjoyed this, because you know what, this was, it was a test pilot kind of a thing, but yeah, if you if you did enjoy this and want to see more of like this in the future, make sure to comment in the comment section down below. Make sure, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, the actual subscribe button. Uh, I don't really have an outro per se for something like this. I guess I can just do my regular outro, right? I don't know what you do be next, because we're just going to have to wait and see. So until this time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching. You will, I would also like to add that um, if, if you do do those things, you will get a free kneecap. Probably. <laughs> and also, so I did my outro, so then now do you have either just an outro or just you want to say just say goodbye and call it good? Free kneecap. Okay, so that was Jenks. Jenks with the kneecaps, right? The kneecaps, the knees, the feet, the arms, the hands, the fingers, all the body parts are here. Okay. You will, you will also get you will also get some uh, free chicken nuggets. Ah, uh, yeah, so it has to be the chicken nugget or or the chicken tenders, the buttermilk chicken tenders at McDonald's. <laughs> Those actually are like one of the few things as an adult I actually will purposely eat from McDonald's Dip at this in point. Some hot mustard. Mwah, it's beautiful. Yes, almost like when I look at myself in the mirror, you know, in a dream where the dream has made me look a lot better than I actually do. So okay, with that being yeah, said, there, there it is. <laughs> Self-deprecation. Anyways, thank you for watching this, uh, I guess, pseudo podcast. Thank you to my sister for being on here. Jenks for being on here. Also known as Jenks, but with it's an E, but it sounds like an A. It's not Jonks, though, which is when Jinx is overpowered. So use the O. Um, well, but that just sounds like when Jinx is like drunk. 
No, it's that's 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 junks. But that's also when Jinx is like underpowered severely, so it's like both. He's gonna chase me, bad hands. Oh, let me ask you. Let me do a lightning round real quick. I know this is supposed to be out. Let me do a lightning round real quick. Who's your favorite character in Danganronpa? I think you, you already know what I'm gonna say. Of course, it has to be Teru. Teru. No, I'm just kidding. Go for it. Well, I was gonna say Junko, but oh, yeah, okay. yeah, Junko and Oshima. Uh, favorite character in League of Legends? Go. I think you already know what I'm gonna say. Lucian Joe. Uh, okay, his name is Lucian, and, and it's Ari. Oh, it's Ari now. Oh, okay. Then why didn't you make that your name for this episode? Why'd you go with the Jenks? The young Jenks. French fry. Yeah, oh, there's a seagull on the TV because Nags is, is is streaming, and there's uh, yeah, French fries. Okay, of course. Anyways, um, who's your favorite character in Ruby? She put on the child safety locks, but we are neither children. So, oh, okay. So, Rin. You one who said the line or the one who actually put on the child safety locks? One who said the line. Okay, yeah. So, that was Rin. Okay, so, that's I, her favorite. But, but I really like Cinder. I like Cinder, too. And, and, wow. Okay. I don't actually hear a lot of people. Oh, well, I can't say why. Never mind. Yeah, okay. So that's cool. Cinder's cool. Um, what else did we talk about? Good job. Also, Neo. <laughs> so a lot of people actually do like Neo, so that's not too surprising. Um, I actually did at the anime convention. I did see one Neo cosplayer. I did see two Cinders. I did actually see a Ren too. It was pretty cool. Cosplaying is just cool. Period. There could be a whole another episode about just cosplaying. How cool that is. But also Batman. We talked about Batman. Who's your favorite Batman character? Favorite Batman character? Yeah. Oh. It can just be Batman Beyond too. If you don't have a, another answer, that's fine. This is a good question. <laughs> this is a good question. Oh, no, no, no. Harley Quinn. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a, that actually that does. That actually counts as a good. Uh, oh, crap. Did we miss anything? What else did we talk about? We talked about. We talked about. I guess we just also just messed around did voice impressions the whole time. So, it's, you know, there's, there's, there's definitely those that we can talk about as well. Uh, we almost got away with one. Rise rhyme. Rise rhyme. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Batman. Um, num, 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 num. <laughs> all right, all right. I think that's 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 about a good ending place then for this episode. I think. Uh-huh. <laughs> you now can't breathe. Yeah, we gotta we gotta cut it. It's getting a bit wild, and like we do have sound limits because we're in an apartment, so we can't be that loud anymore. It's after it's after a certain. T- what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm I'm using you to extend the duration because people love kids, right? I don't know. I'm just kidding. Um, You'd better. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay, that works too. People better love kids because then eventually they become adults and then, you know, they take over for us and then hopefully they're in a good spot to do that. I will find you. What? No, you can't threaten. No, <laughs> no. And I will protect you, okay? Because, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. You can try. Okay, let me just let me just give context. She means so that she can throw pickles at you. It's <laughs> I don't get it. It's uh, kids. I will I don't, throw pickles at you. If you're into that, then you have nothing to worry about. So that being said, we're gonna end the. Uh, like I said, the fire got a go die. How you pronounce it? It means elements, but I've heard there's actually like seven different ways to pronounce it. And obviously, go die kind of might sound pretty bad for like the CCs Free and stuff. Close captions. Free so, you know, there's, there, no, whoa, whoa, no, no. That's what I was going to say, doing foe, which is a story for another time. Anyways, thank you for watching. Again, comment, like, subscribe. I'll, I'll see y'all later. You have anything you want to say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Say goodbye. What? Say goodbye. No. I'm just going to, I'm going to end it, and then you're not going to get to say goodbye. No. All right, they're not going to hear you say she, see you later or anything. You don't deserve a good, no, I'm just kidding. Um, um, goodbye. I like the word goodbye. 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 Bye bye. Bye good. Bye bye. Be I good. Bye bye. Bye good. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. See you later. Behind this map. I'm just kidding. Be I. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay, cool. Yeah. Bye bye, y'all. Goodbye.